Hello, O2V here. This is the Cornell Jr. Show. I have something cool to show you. Take a look. This is the original Double Dragon on Famicom. Boxed. Look at this beauty. Check out the art. It's very Fist of North Star. Okay, like my old friend Luke Morris used to say, let's pop this in and play some of that. I'm going to open this thing up. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a manual. I got the cart. And here's a little secret. This box is not an original. I got this from the babushkas at Russia. Hey, hey, hey! So, yeah. Looks very close to the real thing. I'm not complaining. I even got the tray. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to plug this thing in. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to blow. That's what's great about these Japanese copies of these games. The Japanese didn't have to do all that huffing and puffing and bunk. You know, all that crap. Yeah. So if you're over 40 like I am, you know what the hell Double Dragon is. It's the one of the original beat-em-ups. You know. Kids these days, they think Streets of Rage start the whole thing. They'll be looking at all the beam ups saying, Oh, is this a Street Rage ripoff? Blah, blah, blah. But you know, us old Jeeps know Double Dragon started the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, punch those idiots. So, yeah, it's Double Dragon. Not much else to say. You know, a lot of people over the years complained that the NES Famicom port is not accurate to the arcade version, which is true. But, you know, this actually plays the best out of all the versions. I mean, the enemies actually stun, you know. Yeah, there's no co-op. This is more like single dragon, but <laughs> out of all the home ports at the time, this is the best playing version, in my opinion. Hey, this is coming from someone that grew up with the Sega Master System version. I mean, it looks cooler. I mean, it has better graphics and all. It has two-player. But the problem with the Sega port is, enemies don't even stun. So, yeah. Like, in the NES version, you know, if you get enough experience points. Like, if you if you kick an enemy, you'll be easy to... You'll easily grab them and throw them and knee them, you know? But on the Sega version, you'll be... You know, it's like... It's random. It's like, you know, playing the lottery to do that shit. <laughs> but yeah. Double Dragon. Ultra classic game. Love the music. Do 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 do. Yeah. It's one of the best video game soundtracks of all time, in my opinion. Be whipping these broads. Yeah. With their pink afros. <laughs> Did they vote for Kamal Harris? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bad joke, I know. Alright. Yeah. So, yeah. Double Dragon. Not mad to say. I'm gonna play this until we get to a Bobo. And I'll end this video. Because, you know. Yeah. Just wanted to show off that awesome box because everyone else likes to show off their US copies, but yeah, mine is cooler. They made Billy Lee look like Kenshiro in my box. Here's how I be a Bobo. Come on, come on, fall off the conveyor boat, damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Alright, so yeah. Double Dragon on Famicom. Ultra classic game. Until next video, guys and gals. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get your butt kicked, Billy.